special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Mac Jones and the New England Patriots taking on Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Buffalo Bills and the New England Patriots. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. Out comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at six foot five. That's Josh Allen. And in this league, there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball, while there are others who have big arms. There aren't too many guys who can do both. And at the end of many games, this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. They're just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. To throw, it's Allen. Isaiah McKenzie yelling in. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. That throw's not going to get them a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. And you talk to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. They'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he's met quick in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. A yard in the wrong direction. Makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Well, let's face it, that's just a helpless feeling for a running back there. He's looking up to find a hole, and all he finds is a whole lot of tick the linebacker. Throwing his Allen on third. Going deep for Diggs. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a play now. Check him with the referee. So pass interference, the call, that's going to set him up with a first down. And if it's a bang-bang play, maybe the flag stays in the official's pocket, but instead, he definitely impeded the receiver's right to catch the football. The official's letting the players know how the game's going to be called here in the first quarter. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Now Allen. Left side caught by Diggs. And he's out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Allen. And quick throw here. That's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Second and two, first down marker at the five-yard line. Allen going to throw. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Moss. Have 
take in the early lead. Right off the bat, they start with a very solid, methodical 10-play drive. And you know me. I tend to look at things from the defensive side. They're coming off the field gassed right away. The first drive of the game. So it's not just what happened, but think of the emotion you carry into a game. Then double it with getting a 10-play drive put on you and points scored. They're pretty tired right now. So the extra point good, and the roughing call going to move the ball out to the 50 for the kickoff. And I think this is a good chance to pin them deep if you can land the kickoff inside the five-yard line or so. Gain some field position for your defense. And sails over the end line. So here come the Patriots now to take over on offense. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in himself coming out of high school. Went to Alabama despite the fact there are many high-profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a Heisman Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent. to run and surprisingly this will pop up as one of their staples because they run so many routes in the middle of the field how about this one starts downfield bends it to the corner great touch on the football and they turn that one into a big play Second and six. Now Jones. Complete Hunter Henry with a grab. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. They'll run with a former member of the Crimson Tide, Damian Harris. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Throwing Jones. Open man right side, Myers. And they'll get him down. This is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there. They're holding him for a short game. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. It looks like it's coming like clockwork right now for them. A couple of nice carries back to back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line done. Good sign on the opening drive. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. They'll switch it up here and look to throw. And it's caught. They'll wind up getting seven on the completion, but they'll still be faced now with a third and goal situation. Now that Patriots sideline not happy with what just transpired, and they're going to throw out the challenge flag. Is this a touchdown? That's the question. CD, what are they looking for here? You just need any part of the football to break the plane. You don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. You just have some part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up, that's what they need to cross. So not successful there on the challenge, and he'll have to be... And he's in! Touchdown! 
Twins. David Harris taking it in from a yard out. And the Patriots are with an extra point of tying this one up. Well, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Extra point. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. McKenzie will not return this. It will be brought out to the 25. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back up scoring hoping to get the ball back quickly that didn't happen so i'd say come out just kind of get started again you know it doesn't have to be anything dramatic just get moving get loose again and see if they can get it downfield play action now it's allen they got the connection easily now he's going to get this down to the 35 yard line and time to give some credit to the big fellas the offensive line here because you've got good protection on crossing routes because you gotta give your receiver time to work all the way across the field that time be able to scan the field spot his receiver moving left to right and make a good accurate throw thank you guys and he'll work this forward for about three at second down i do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game you're now doing the dictating on defense Guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws, the plays of that nature. Make sure you don't get hurt. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, time to perfectly. at the line ready to go and that last drive a long drive but not just that they had a great air attack going do they stick with that i would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive starting backed up in their own territory why would you change anything they've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so because yeah, the secondary they really look close and that was amazing because that drive went adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Jones from the gun on third down. It's caught. Smith. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. And a gain of five. And that's going to make it fourth down. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it, they could have gotten it, but to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. Yeah, they got the safe completion on third. They'll try and run with a fullback, Johnson. He will have the first down here as he's up to the 15. In lieu of the sneak on fourth and inches, they just say, give it to the big man in the backfield. Yeah, fullback no less. Not many of those left in the NFL, but for those that have one, Perfect time to use them. Perfect time to get it done. A little bit of daylight on that first down run. Sets him up nicely. Eight yards on the carry. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the 
given us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. They go play action here on first down. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And a high throw there as this is knocked away. Grounded incomplete. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. They hand this off to Harris. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and five. He's going to be stopped short of the first down as he'll get to him at about the 33. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. And that was a big time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was and they didn't let him get anywhere near it. Two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They'll run it with Johnson. Second and six. On the give, this is Harris. And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 44. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Back to throw. Jones. Open pass, Kendrick Bourne. set up first and goal. Yeah, it's a nice running right there. That's what got him the first down. But at this point... I suggest open up your playbook. You can call just about what you want. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Bills are going to take protection here. It's a touchback. And they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. This is Harris. And for the 20 they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Now Jones to throw on third down. This one to board, and he's got it. And they get him down before he takes it across the 40 yard line. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Now a first down carry for Harris, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming. 
coming up. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 43. This has to go down to one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh, so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. He'll rifle this one deep right side. Man, it's caught at the six-yard line. A big play there for the Patriots. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. And that'll get him halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three-yard line. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeout. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Again, it's Harris. And we got a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop it right around the one. This path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. They go power. This is Johnson, the fullback. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Patriots are back within a score. Fulton X on the extra point. And the lead is down to a field goal. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. McKenzie will not return this, and will be brought out to the 25. For the Buffalo offense and Devin Singletary heading back out there. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his own well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. It's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that means he's getting plenty of blocking. fake here on first down. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that's caught inside the 35. And he gets all the way down to the 30-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. For quarterback, there's two sides to this coin. Either he had complete faith that his guy would go up and get the ball, or his throw was up for grabs. Which one do you think he'll tell the coach when he goes to the sidelines? So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. The Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. This fielded right at the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here, so get this up to the 29. Another goal around now for the Patriot offense. They find themselves trailing on the scoreboard, but it certainly hasn't been because of what they've been able to do at the receiver position. And let's face it, partner, we've been around a lot of receivers. Has it ever been their fault when things aren't going well? We know how they operate, right? And right now what they're saying is, well, guess what? If we want to win, it's even more. We're the ones making it. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. 
That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it. And the running game is starting to pay off. And the result here, pick up with two to go on second down. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. On oh, second and a couple, Jones. He gets his one to Johnson. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. That's a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're Keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's got enough for the first across midfield of the 48. And the last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient. Followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. They'll run. Here's Harris. Taken down right around the 41-yard line. 108 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Play fake. Jones. Complete. It's Henry. And some room to run now. And they'll have it in the red zone. Crosses over out of bounds. Thank <laughs> you. 
it get to him and drop it for a loss of a yard. What a nice read to play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake, but right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Oh, Jones has just thrown his third interception. Situations as a DB where you just tip your cap and say, nice catch. Well, you're supposed to. Second and three. Throw, cover. 
which wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball.
He's going to have the first down about the 38. And he can't get a ball off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Here's Allen. He rolls one that's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Mills. So much for the game-winning two-minute drive. They got interception return there. It pretty much seals the deal. And one thing to keep in mind, in this situation with the score that close, the defense isn't back off and just giving you easy score. They're playing a first game. Taking that one off and seal the deal for themselves. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long.